Voilà, Pec and Villar, ready to take the train up to the top. Right, so two pieces of bad news that we just realized. The first one being that our magic passes, uh, which, is, which was advertised that we can use it here to go up for summer and winter. It's not valid for the train to take us all the way up to the top. Just to, it's only valid for the uh, telecabin, which is at the top of the ski field which I don't think we're even going to be using. Second piece of bad news, we just missed uh, the train. They go on the hour, every hour. And the next one is at 11 o'clock, so we have to wait just over an hour now for the next one. Well, too bad. Uh, we just have to find a cafe, sit down, have a coffee, have a croissant or something, and uh, enjoy ourselves. So here we are, we're up in Villar now, up at the top, by the ski field. The train behind me just dropped us off. It's a bit windy and a bit fresh, but we do have our jumpers with us. And the direction we're going, it's uh, like to Chavon, but it's that way in about 25 minutes. Oh, there's a cute little lake just behind me, but I don't think that's the one that we're aiming to walk towards. And it looks cold. So if we're going to be swimming in the other one, I have high doubts. Another lake down there, but I'm not sure if that's the Lake Chavon that we're heading towards. More local residents behind me. I've always wondered, do those bells drive the cows crazy after a while? I certainly would go mad. Well, so far, okay, uh, it was meant to be a 25 minute walk. We're not getting that far. Um, lots of stops. Kids are hungry. It's, uh, it's just on midday now, so I guess we'll Soon as try and find a spot to eat. This is what I love. Nature. Just so refreshing. It's so good just being out here in the green. Not many people now. We have arrived. What a spot. Beautiful. This lake looks pretty special. Nice color, nice setting. And then there's a restaurant just there. Dogs swimming in the lake. It's really beautiful. I don't know if you can capture all that, if you can see it. Right, so now we come to the other side of the lake. This looks to be a picnic spot. Well, we're just going a bit further up in the hills there. What a fantastic spot this is. Right, so I'm in the lake. It's cold. <laughs> right, so we just had our picnic. Just had a quick dip in that ice cold lake there. Probably one of the coldest lakes uh, that I've swam in, in quite some time. And now we're going to walk back around to the restaurant on the other side there, have a coffee, and then we're going to start the hike uh, to walk all the way back down to Villar. Mm. 
life is pretty good here right now. <sighs> the walk back up, it's a little bit more difficult than walking down. That is just picturesque. Swiss flag, chalet, with the mountains in the background. Well, we just made it to the top. Only took us 40 minutes, and now we're heading down that way. Two hours, I guess. Let's see how it goes. There you can see the train that we were going to go on, although we didn't have any tickets. So we are walking down. Well, I've been skiing up there, I've taken this chair left before. It's a little bit strange to uh, see this place in the summer and no snow. How's that for a backdrop? Check that out. Wow. Amazing. We just stopped here on this little bench in the middle of nowhere. All the kids had had enough and they just needed a little pick me up. Picked me up with a good day, some chocolate, Mwah. and now we'll run away again. How Swiss is this? Chalets, after chalets, with a beautiful view. Okay, so we'll come back down into Villach. Uh, there was about 7k walk from the lake where we had the coffees before. And we're exhausted. 